Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And I believe this is the warp we want to take to get to the Ice Palace over by the Desert in the Dark World. That brings us out here. Oh, I didn't even see that tech tyke until after it jumped. That just takes us back into the Dark World in the middle of the desert where we don't want to be. But this path... Ow. Uh, last time we went to the Mirror House, and to my surprise, we did not fight Mirror Robes and get the Mirror Shield. We got this Fire Boomerang, though, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we have a couple different paths to go here. Oh, yeah, but we don't have the... And well, this being kind of our hint, oh, we're going to have issues in this. Uh, we've got invisible enemies. I'm pretty sure we can't have the uh, cross before coming here. If we can, I'm going to look really silly doing this. But hey, wouldn't be the first time, right? I already found that. Okay. I was going to go over there and Lens of Truth that rock, but I guess now that there was those stairs down, there's really no point. Okay, sure, why not? <laughs> this is going to be five rupees. Or bombs we don't need. And down was just a piece of heart that we got, so let's go into the Ice Palace. Uh, we cannot use our key on that, because the key we have is actually for level 7. Or if we do, we just have to make sure that we find other keys to replace it. Okay, so these are slime things. Okay. Um, wasn't there something... No, okay. I still recognize this music. I don't believe there's nothing in here. Because that totally looks like that. Maybe that's just a spot where you can, like, warp back to you from somewhere in the dungeon. Yeah, this place is going to be a bit bigger than the mirror house. These are just slimes for now. There's a trick to this. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Oh. Okay, so the first one is middle. So middle, left. Eh, whatever all these enemies are. I found a key. Okay, so three statues, middle, then left. That's... I know that's going to be important. I could probably just... go to our screen and... hit end game and then continue to get back to the beginning, but... we actually don't have issues dealing with these slimes, so... Okay, well now I have a key that I am comfortable using here. Because, you know, I found it here. Oh, these are dark nuts. These are dark nuts. These are bigger dark nuts. 
Those were splitting dark nuts. Splitting invisible dark nuts. Yeah, this is what I want to be dealing with. We're gonna throw our fire. Wood. The real issue. The real issue is we have a bunch of dark nuts in this room. I believe those were whiz robes. Okay, so here's... Where's some of those hints come in? I don't know what we're supposed to do though. Do we bomb? Do we whistle? How do you make this open? Uh, it's not that. Hot. Uh, you know what? This might require level 2 power gloves. In other words... Oh yeah, this isn't working. So we're going to go back over to level 7, I guess. Maybe it's because I was partway through level 7 and then backed out of it. Yeah, good to know we have invisible dark nut splitters there. Uh, now we got to get back. Oh, we got our bombs back. Uh, we got to get back to... level 7 area. Uh, we kind of know how to do that. And there's no other... Yeah, there's no other place I can go right now. Okay, I guess I do have to deal with level 7. Getting my shield eaten by tons of life likes. But at least we can have the fire boomerang going into it now, so that'll make our life easier. Okay, how far away is this thing? Another thing I want to check out when we're in the level 7 area... is remember how we found that alternate path into level 7? I want to see if there's any other alternate paths in first that we can access right now. And I want to access those. And then we'll take the main path. Okay, it does kill those guys in one chest. So I guess our sword beam does three points of damage. And our... And our uh, sword must do like four. It's only slightly weaker. Okay, that's not a level seven entrance. Oh, that's right. Take that dang pea hats. Yeah, yeah. Screw you, V-Hats. Okay, real question is though, where... Okay, well that is an entrance, but we can't get there. I should 
actually look around and kind of plan this out. That we can't get to that. And once you start going farther this way, you're not in level 7 anymore. So I think... That's going to take a hammer. Was that cave level 7? Where was the level 7? Oh, that was the level 7 spot we got to before. this? I was not level 7. Well, once we get the hammer, we'll definitely be able to do just about whatever we want as far as bonus dungeons go. I think that's what we will do, is all of the dang bonus dungeons. This wasn't anything, was it? That was a fairy cave. And this wasn't level 7, nope. Yeah, this is the area where I really don't like all these alternate... Like, the, those little dinky caves that go down. Yeah, we did take that path in. I don't think there's anything else along that path we can get. So we just need to go into level 7 proper. I don't think we're going to get paint anywhere else, unless there's a spot. There's a hole there, but there's no way that's level 7. Yeah. See, that's why I don't like it, because when you're just like looking at the map or just traveling around, you don't know which one of those spots are going to be dinky nothing caves, or which ones are going to be level 7. That one's definitely level 7. But we can't get to that. We've, we've covered that. Okay, so... Need the hook shot. Per Zelda Classic Rules, uh, there can't be another entrance to level 7 here. Alright, Fire Boomerang. Actually, this should be our room with our friend, the Gnarled Dungeon. The Hammer and the Level 2 Bracelet. I called those things. Yeah, I definitely want both those things, and then we're gonna go... I would really like the Red Armor. I really like mummies to stop being mummies. Yeah, there's so many just split paths here. Oh, he crossed over. He crossed the line. Uh, can I activate that with that fire? No, not that fire. Love on the fire boomerang, though. Yeah, I think you make me use those, don't you? But I mean, that's why these guys are here dropping magic. I lost my sword beams. That's fine. One thing I didn't lose is my fire boomerang. I can burn that. Um, hold that thought.
Now, if I have to come from that side to push that block, okay. Yeah, this is why I lost my shield a lot in this dungeon. Get that guy out of here. Compass. I'm learning this game too well. Uh, before we go, should be scanning more. I don't think I can. We can just kill things with the fire boomerang if we desire. And we can freeze bubbles. Uh, hi, guys. That door opens up. We have that. Yeah, that's not helpful. Oh, hey. Money. I don't want to take that warp. Not yet. Uh, my arrow just moves a little bit too fast. So that's entirely just for when I warp to that spot. Okay. The boss of this temple is weak to the hammer. That's gonna suck for the boss, because the hammer's in this dungeon. Alright, let's take this, which I'm expecting will just take me, yeah, back to the beginning. Okay. Around and around we go again. Okay, so what paths didn't we take? Oh, loving this magical sword. It's also a matter of what paths could we possibly take. With how disjointed this dungeon is... We did not take this path, so let's do that. Pardon me. Oh, that takes that takes the hammer to break. I have a key. I haven't even found a locked door yet. Can't wait, hang on. I have an idea. If I enter from this way when the place isn't it literally won't matter. Because of the way the dungeon was designed. Okay, so we gotta go this way. Take this warp. Okay. Uh, that takes the level 2 power gauntlet. I thought for sure... No, we, we can't do that. Okay. Let's 
this is not productive. I could have swore though there's something else we can do in the beginning portions of this. go outside and find something different. Because I'm literally just doing all the same stuff right now. Oh, that... Oh, it didn't hurt as much as it used to, but... Make me lose my sword beams. <gasps> we can't break that because we need the hammer. That we need to come up. Yeah, we're just doing the same thing over and over again, so... Well, let's go find some place else. Because that is just not productive. Okay, where else could we have an entrance to level 7, though? Other than the one that we found, there'd be one here. It does not appear so. Maybe we can find something else along the one that we found, because I did kind of uh, travel through that quickly. Also, there's... that takes the hammer. That is an entrance to level 7, though. Yeah, okay, let's go down here. Alright, because this will at least provide a little bit of variety. There's really no point in spending one rupee on an arrow and then getting another... Arrow. That we would have to push from the other end. That's how we get here, though. I do want to just kind of scan some things for bomb spots. With a lot of these, yeah, see, that's the one we're going to have to push, and since it's darker, it's going to take the level 2 combo bracelet. Now, this is a room where we might be able to get something done. If I don't die to everything in here, that is. Okay. Got him. I 
thing is, I can't... There's no other triggers in this room. Okay. I did not go up from here, did I? That would be a no. Let's do that. Okay, so there's going to be something up here. Oh, uh, not you. Next up, we're on the edge of the lake. Shut up. I don't care. Yeah, that was officially not useful. I also think I skipped. Now we have to do this. What was the point of that again? Oh, you know what I can do? Oh, that's the boss key. So, I don't even need to worry about that right now. I think we gotta trigger that first or something. I'm like, I don't need to worry about it, but let's play around with this room. Oh... Grabby hands. No grabbing. Oh, why are you here and spawning 8 billion tons of bats? We just died. We just died. But why? Obviously because I ran out of health, but... Okay. Well, that is the state of affairs here in level 7. So next time, we'll see if we can make more progress without, you know, dying. 